You can pick uh, screwdrivers like these up at the uh, flea markets and car boot sales for pennies. They really are good screwdrivers, but nobody seems to want them anymore. So we're going to convert them into gunmaker's drivers, or turn screws as they like to call them. They're far too long to use as screwdrivers or turn screws on guns as they are, so the first thing to do is shorten them. Just take a hacksaw and cut the end off. Then we reshape the end uh, to fit the screws on the guns. Most British guns have uh, uh, slots from 16 thou or 20 thou, so that's the size that we need to cut them. There we are now, that's the shape they want to be. I'm just going to harden and temper this uh, screwdriver because this one seems a little bit soft. So, I've just hardened it by heating it to cherry red and quenching it in oil. Now I'm going to polish it up so that I can see the colours and temper it blue. Now to temper it, I'm going to heat it about there and watch the colours go down there and when it's the, the right colour for the uh, amount of hardness or toughness that I want at the end I'll quench it again. It's going straw now, purple blue. Yeah, maybe not quite blue at the very end but we've got a good tough screwdriver there that isn't going to uh, twist off when we're using it. So now I'm just going to make it a bit nicer by altering the handle into uh, a prettier shape. There we are then. It looks a bit more like a gunmaker's screwdriver now. Now uh, if the last person who had worked on this poor old gun had gone to the trouble of doing this he wouldn't have chewed up these screws. You can ornament these things as much as you like and I think I'm going to clean it up and uh, stick a bit of black dye on the handle and uh, I'll show you it tomorrow. Three very useful turn screws for not a lot of effort. I couldn't find any black dye so I've just dipped them in linseed oil instead. <laughs> 